Okay, so welcome to this uh, episode called Five Minutes of Fire. We're doing season two of the promotion playbook. We're recovering the, the tools and the strategy and the skill set inside of the promotion playbook. Uh, this year, currently, we're covering the concept of story. So the three, the triad of the promotion playbook is story, strategy, and skill set. And today we're going to talk about story, but we're going to tie it into the seven strategies. And I'm going to share with you. Um, in the book, the importance of understanding how these how these two tie together. So, um, <clears throat> if you don't have a copy of the book, you can go to the promotionplaybook.com and pick one up, and um, that way you can go along and follow everything. Or, I'm sorry, the books are on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon, or you can go to promotionplaybook.com, where there's several other resources that you can uh, refer to. So section number one, it's called Jake's Journey. And it introduces us to this character. The first two sections of the book are in story format in hopes that you can get an emotional connection to, to this character named Jake. And then you can apply that to your own journey so that they can take you, you can follow his, his um, he can be your guide on this path to your promotion. So it starts off, if you listen to the previous episode, is the three, the the five questions of story structure. Um, the five is who is the main character? Where does the story take place? What does the character want? Uh, what's the problem that they face and how does it resolve? So Jake is, um, he's a family man. He's a veteran firefighter in this small, smaller department. He loves his family, loves his community, but he sucks at promotional test. And so his problem is that he can't figure out how to be successful. He meets a mentor named Captain Tim and Captain Tim takes him on this hike where he explains the seven strategies. And so on this hike, the importance of the seven strategies is that they're metaphorically lined out on this path to promotion. So this first story, they're out on a hike and he presents a strategy. And with that strategy is a landscape to anchor that in, um, to, to tie that in. It's important to apply these strategies and in order for you to grasp the learning, there's these landscapes that you can link it to. So um, strategy number one, they're going up this whole hike and as he's hiking, there's this metaphorical hike that represents your journey on your proven path to promotion. And it, it tells all these things that you might experience on your path. At the end of the story, there's, um, or we go into section two and it opens up the seven strategies. So the story, it's like you get an overview of the seven strategies and the characters. And then we go into the seven strategies where in depth, you get to learn each of these strategies in depth. And then at the end, there's a practical application for you to put it into action. So, um, and the story continues. So this is an introduction to the story. So the takeaway from today's recording is that yeah, get a copy of the promotion playbook. If you don't have a copy, go to promotionplaybook.com and uh, I have an offer where you can get a, a copy of the ebook. So you can, you can buy the ebook or the paperback on Amazon. Or if you want to check out promotionplaybook.com, I have some resources that I can give you to go along with it. Um, and read the, I'd encourage you to read the first section. That would be the first takeaway is to read the first section and spend some time seeing how this story works. And also introduce yourself to the seven different strategies and how you might start to apply these to your promotional test preparation. Thanks for watching and uh, stay in touch for the next episode. Um, there is going to be, um, I am recording people. I'm going to start sharing these interviews called stories from the summit so that you can hear about other people's experience. Jake is a, is a fictional character, but he's representative of a lot of people that I've worked with, some people that I've helped and um, along with mentors and guides that I've had in my life. So I think there's, there's a lot of people on the fire service that can relate with this character. And that's the person that I believe is going to get the most, most benefit from going on this journey. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you later.